Hi, my name is Dan Rene and I'm with HRS Control. Today I'm going to demonstrate in the UDC software the use of the UDC internal timecode. We're going to generate MIDI timecode over Ethernet. And what we're going to use today is a KISS box MTC LTC network interface box. We're going to send MIDI timecode to this unit and in turn, the KISS box will actually send over 3-pin XLR LTC timecode. And this box over here, a Rosendahl MIF4 timecode reader, is going to read our timecode. And to demonstrate, I've created four commands in the UDC software to show sending out timecode. I've got a stop command. I've created a play command which will start timecode. I've got a jump to zero command and I've got a jump to 23 hours, 22 minutes, 21 seconds and 20 frames. So let's we've right now we're currently started at zero timecode. So let's just go ahead and run the timecode. As you can see up here in our software window, we're at 5 6 7 and we're sending out UDP packets to the KISS box, which and then is sending over data to the Rosendahl. I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. As you can see, the time code stops. We can jump to zero, start playing again. Or we can jump to a, des a desired time code that we need, let's say, for some sort of show control. And we can play. So that's really a quick demonstration of how simple it is to set up sending out timecode so that readers like, let's say, a lighting console can actually read our timecode and trigger lighting cues or any other sort of devices that can actually read timecode. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please visit us at hrscontrol.com.